In this video, we will show you a sample itinerary on how to spend one day seeing as much of Rome as possible. We are basing the recommendations on the most popular tourist attractions and the ones that are closest in proximity to each other. I believe that spending at least five or six days in the city is necessary to gain a decent sense of what the place is like. If you will only be in Rome for one day, the following is a suggested itinerary for you to follow so that you can make the most of your time. Even though a day in Rome is not a lot of time, it is nonetheless one of the most fascinating experiences that Europe has to offer. So here is a list of 10 things to see and do in Rome to experience the city in a short amount of time. 1. Be sure to get an early start. You shouldn't start your day in Rome without indulging in a mouthwatering traditional Italian breakfast at one of the city's many charming cafes. While there, you should make it a point to have some cappuccino and pastries. During the high tourist season in summer, it is important to get an early start. It's hot in Rome, so this list encourages you to do many of the outdoor activities as early as possible in the day. 2. The Colosseum The very first time I saw the Colosseum, I had the sensation of being extremely far away from home, both in terms of physical distance and my place on the human timeline of history. It is without a doubt one of the most famous landmarks in all of Rome and the unofficial symbol of Italy. Much like the Eiffel Tower is to France. Take some pictures and read up on the fascinating past of this magnificent structure to further acquaint yourself with it. To visit the most popular tourist attraction in Italy, you will need to make a reservation in advance for a specific time frame. Especially during the summer. It is the exact embodiment of the Roman Empire and is widely considered to be one of the most incredible structures ever constructed in ancient and modern times. Fun Fact We are closer in the timeline of human history to the construction of the Colosseum than the Romans were to the construction of the pyramids in Egypt. Mind Blown The Colosseum is a piece of Rome's interesting history and a spectacular example of Rome's engineering prowess that has been remarkably well maintained, despite the effects of time. Again be sure to make a reservation in advance to avoid the long lines. This is why we put it first on the list. Quick tip. Walking through Rome is like reading a history book before your very eyes. Be sure to familiarize yourself with your itinerary before you travel to Italy. You will have a deeper comprehension and appreciation for everything that you are seeing. 3. Roman Forum. The Roman Forum, which is adjacent to the Colosseum, can be visited on foot and is an easy stroll. You will find yourself walking on the same streets as Julius Caesar, Augustus, and Constantine. You will make your way through the myths, legends, and happenings of Imperial Rome's magnificent past as you walk through over 2,000 years of history. The Roman Forum was the political, commercial, cultural, and religious heart of Rome, making it the most important civic place in the city. It was on this site that ancient Rome's most significant temples, churches, and halls of justice were located. 4. Palatine Hill the Palatine Hill is the next location on your agenda for your one day in Rome. By far, the most famous of the seven hills of Rome. The other six hills in Rome are less well known than this one. It's Rome's oldest neighborhood, with a history that goes back even further than the city of Rome itself. Palatine Hill provides a view of the Circus Maximus and the Roman Forum on both sides of the hill. There are a great deal more pleasures to be had, including active archaeological sites and hidden underground locations to investigate. 5. Lunch in Rome. Grab some lunch at a local restaurant. We cannot stress enough how highly we recommend that you indulge in some authentic Italian cuisine, namely pasta, seafood, and even pizza. You should not order a hamburger and fries. Always keep in mind the old adage, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. 6. The Basilica of St. Peter in Vatican City. During the afternoon, you can spend time exploring Vatican City, which is home to the Pope as well as some of the most amazing works of art in the world. The most famous church in the world is the Basilica of St. Peter. It is a true masterpiece of the Renaissance and was designed by Raphael and Michelangelo respectively. It's possible that the Basilica is the most intricately decorated place you've ever been in before. It is packed with a mind-boggling display of priceless artifacts and opulent furnishings all over its interior. I remember being shocked at how long the church was when you entered. It just seemed so massive. It is by far the longest church in all of Christendom, stretching more than the length of two football fields from end to end. After more than 120 years of construction, 18 different popes, an unimaginable amount of money, and the direction of 12 different architects, St. Peter's Basilica was finally finished in 1626. When you're in the area, don't leave without paying a visit to the Vatican Museums. Quick Tip 
It is strongly recommended that you don't wear shorts or a tank top or sleeveless shirt. You are not going to the mall but rather to a sacred and historical building. You will not be allowed to enter under any circumstance. 7. Pantheon. The Pantheon is the most well-known, after perhaps the Colosseum, and well-preserved structure that dates back to ancient Rome. It is the sole piece of architecture from the imperial period that has not been damaged. The Pantheon was a temple in Rome that was dedicated to the worship of all Roman gods. It is most likely that it functioned as a dynastic refuge as well as an assembly hall where members of the public may congregate. 8. Spanish Steps. The Spanish Steps are a massive set of stairs that were constructed in 1723 and lead from Piazza di Spagna to the Piazza Trinita dei Monti, which is located at the top. You may find the steps near the easternmost point of the old city center. A labyrinth of very tight alleys that are packed to the brim with designer shops is just waiting to be discovered once you reach the base. The Spanish steps continue to be a popular destination for creative types like painters, poets, and other artists. At the top of the Spanish steps, there are always artists and painters ready to get you an amazing souvenir. 9. Dinner in Rome. Why don't you enjoy dinner at one of Rome's many amazing restaurants with a rooftop terrace? There are many restaurants to choose from so you can't go wrong. You will be offered some mouthwatering dishes, and at the same time, you will be presented with a spectacular view of the city. 10. Trevi Fountain. Spend a relaxing evening doing something you love, like going for a stroll through Rome's breathtaking streets. The Trevi Fountain is not only the largest but also the most stunning fountain in all of Rome. The fountain's history may be traced back to 19 BC when it served as the terminal point of the Aqua Virgo Aqueduct. The first fountain was constructed in the Renaissance period under Pope Nicholas V. Why are people in the fountain snapping photos of themselves while also dropping coins into the water? The tale, which first appeared in the film, Three Coins in the Fountain, which was released in 1954, goes as follows. If you toss a single coin, you will find yourself back in Rome. If you toss two coins, you will meet an alluring Italian and fall hopelessly in love with them. If you throw three coins, the person you meet will end up being your future spouse. To get the desired result, toss the coin over your left shoulder with your right hand while looking in the opposite direction from where you started. Final stop before heading to bed. Stop for one more drink at a neighboring bar before retiring for the evening and making your way back to the hotel. A stroll through the alleys of central Rome at dusk is not only safe but also very enticing. There is no other way to get a better sense of the rhythm of the city by mingling with locals. To continue your travel adventures, check out our video on a sample one-day travel itinerary to Paris. Hopefully, this suggested itinerary will be useful for you the next time you are in Rome. You will be able to make the most of your time in this stunning city and take advantage of everything that it has to offer. Happy travels and thanks for watching.